hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey girl what's up so today we are responding to one of my lovely subscribers comments i'm gonna start doing this i'm adding this feature to my channel um anytime y'all ask me to do something i'm gonna attach y'all's comment because i always forget your name so now i'm screenshotting and adding y'all to my video so shout out to miss kimberly rose her video not her video her comment was chosen for this week's video um we are doing this luxury bad girl simple simple baddie get ready with me type of ordeal so you know if you want to get cute let's make it do what it do <laughs> so y'all know i'm always putting y'all on always am i right or am i right i'm right i already know you ain't got to tell me girl i already know i already know i stay giving y'all to see you know so to be a baddie you have to embody a baddie from the rooter to the tutor from the head to the toe okay your face just can't be bad you know what i'm saying your fit just can't be bad everything about you got to be bad and what's the number one rule of being a baddie you gotta smell like a baddie when you walk in the door they gotta know it's you and how do you do that without saying a word by smelling good what's what, what's the first thing everybody say when they talk about their first time meeting rihanna what they say oh my god she smell so good so of course i'm finna put y'all on Hey, <laughs> what else would I be here for? So, I have new scents sent to me from my favorite fragrance company in the world. Who else? Dossier. So, we got two new luxury fragrance, oh, two new luxury fragrances that we're going to be trying out for today's video. I'm super, super, super excited about these because I am trying out the Ambery Cherries today along with Ambery Saffron. And y'all already know, I love smelling like a million dollars, but you ain't got to spend like spend a million dollars to smell like a million dollars. Okay, so let's get them to it. So y'all know, we can go on and on and on about why I love Dossier, how much I love Dossier. I mean, it's, the list is endless, okay? But the primary reason for getting fragrances from Dossier, in my opinion, you have a risk-free guarantee. If you don't like it, send it back. Get your money back. Yeah, I mean, you cannot lose. You cannot lose. Everything is categorized by the fragrance family. So if you've got a general idea of what you want to smell like, girl, I guarantee you won't walk out with something. You're leaving with something. You're adding something to the cart. You know what I'm saying? When you do, make sure you tell them that Erica Danley sent you. Okay? Period. So, we're going to start off with Ambery Cherry. So, this one is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now, the fragrances that I'm sampling today, too bougie for my budget. Not even going to cap with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Your girl making this coin from YouTube, but you know, my pockets ain't that deep. You know what I'm saying? Well, I do have, I do actually have this. <laughs> I don't have this one, but we don't get into this one momentarily. We don't get into this one momentarily. Right now, we talking about this, okay? Um, But I actually do have Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Um... And it's just, it's such a sweet and romantic fragrance. I am 100% in that fruity fragrance family. Like, I love smelling like, you know, just, I love walking. I think, how do I describe my scent? I love smelling like a tease. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when I walk by, I want people to be like, does she do OnlyFans? Or... Is she a singer or does she model? Does she have a nine to five? What does she do? Because, you know, my, my my scent doesn't give, but no means does my scent give cheap. It gives like, I don't know. It just gives enough where you got to look at me and question, what do I do with my life? You know what I'm saying? How do how do I make money? Okay, that's that's what my fragrance family is. How do I make money? You know, that's, that's what I give. <laughs> so... Let's look at the notes in this fragrance. So, like I said, it's inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. The top notes, oh, top notes, the top notes, of course, are going to be cherry, almond, and cinnamon. Middle notes, cloves, rose, jasmine, and plum, with the base note of Peru balsam, taco bean, and vanilla. Taco bean is the talk of the town right now. Y'all already know how popular taco bean is when it comes to fragrances. So, I am super excited, girl, and I can smell it through the box. I ain't even. I ain't even put it on yet. I ain't even, I ain't even sprayed it yet. I'm so excited. Um, with a concentration of 18%. But shout out. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and give her a spritz. So we're going to do it on this side of our body. Because let me tell y'all something. When it comes to dossier, you getting your money's worth. Like, 
I'll put this on right now and go take a shower. I'm still going to smell like my fragrance. Like, they don't make fragrances that, you know, you have to carry around with you. But you can. But you don't have to carry it around with you to smell like it all day long. I put this on in the morning. I'm good till I get off work at 5 o'clock. Period. Like... You don't have to spray it on your clothes. I never spray perfume on my clothes. You don't want to spray it on your perfume. It stains. I spray it on the high peaks of my body that I know are going to get like a lot of um, interaction is what I guess I'll say. So I do it behind my neck, my ear, my wrist, in our armpit here. And then get the girls a little bit too, you know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try out Amber and Cherry. And it feels so cute in the hand, guys. Magnetic top. So you never... Have to worry about going without. So it looks cute on your dress style. It looks cute on your vanity. You know what I'm saying? It matches the aesthetic. It's perfect. So let's see. Let's see how she compares to the real one. Exactly what I remember Tom Ford lost cherry smell. Like you can definitely smell the cherry. It's so it's not overwhelming, but it's so it's mouth like my mouth is literally watering from smelling this. Like you know how some like um poorly made perfumes that have cherry in it can kind of like smell like kind of like candy or like a car air freshener this is not that this is not that this smells like money like heaven in a bottle like this is what you want to wear you know i got to give y'all example of where i'm wearing this too right you already knew it was coming so this is what i would wear on like a first date you know First date or some bedroom boom. Something like that. Something sweet where you want to be airy and romantic and just sweet. And you literally want his you literally want his mouth to water when he sees you. He's gonna be like, oh my God. That does that my show look like that, smell like that. Yes, sir. It's me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open up our second fragrance that we have here so like i said this one is ambery saffron so i stuck with the amber um family for this haul so listen so i'm so excited about this one y'all so excited so this one is literally out of my price range i've only smelt this one in the store um but i've never owned it myself so we're gonna see if this triggers what it triggered in the store okay so y'all know the hottest celebrity fragrance is none other, none other than what? Baccarat Rouge 540. Baccarat Rouge 540. Ah! <laughs> I am so excited to put this on. Like, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to. This sells out on their website every single time. So make sure you grab yours asap okay this is the one not the two okay let me let me go ahead and read y'all the ingredients not ingredients but the notes you know so ambery sapphire top notes of saffron orange and blossom middle notes jasmine plum cedarwood base notes of agmos fear and um amber i'm so freaking excited so as y'all know baccarat the little bottles can literally cost like 500 dollars. who want to spend 500 dollars? they don't know what it smells like because sometimes you can't get it in store sometimes you literally have to order it and why do that when you can do this for a fraction of the cost who who, who in their right mind would do that so i'm gonna go ahead and get a smell so you know i can smell and live my best luxury Batty lifestyle. Okay, let's go ahead and smell her. Notice I already put this on because I know. I already know. Oh my god. This smells like what I remember it smelling like in the store. This smells like money. This is why I see why Lotto and Nicki Minaj. I see why the girl's wearing this. Okay. Because if you ain't wearing this, what you wearing? I love this. Y'all know from the last video, I said Floral Marshmallow, which was um, inspired by Love by Killian, was my favorite. But this may be my new favorite. 
I think I get a favorite every time they send me a package. Like, I love Dossier so much. Thank y'all so much, y'all. Like, oh my God, I'm such a, I'm such a happy girl. And I want y'all to experience this with me. So make sure you click the link below and use my code ErikaDanlis10 to save even more on discount. Like, it's a no-brainer. It's literally a no-brainer, y'all. Like, this is a $500 perfume that you can get for the low of around $30. Girl. You spend thirty dollars when you go to Chick Fil A, cause I know you getting extra chicken niggas, and I know you order extra sauce. Why not? Ah! <laughs> These are just clean luxury fragrances. Like it smells so good. Like you would not think that this is not the real thing. You would not think that this perfume costs you thirty bucks. There's, there's, there's no way. Like my mind is still boggled on as to how they do this. Like it's, just, it's mind boggling to me. I am obsessed. Okay, obsessed. And I want you to be too. Looking and smelling like that girl. Forever and a day. Period. <laughs> So if you follow me on all my social platforms other than YouTube, such as Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, all at the Erica Danley, you know about the huge sales that I've been promoting um, in regards to Dossier's Black Friday sale. If you missed the sale, that is okay because the prices are still amazing. You can still use a discount code. You can still sell you a ton of money and try out a bunch of new fragrances that are risk-free guarantee so y'all go hook yourself so you know the holidays coming up get some for your girlfriend your best friend your mama your daddy your cousin your uncle your snicker link everybody okay they got something for everybody ain't no excuses period <laughs> all right y'all so now that we are smelling like a million bucks let's turn this face into a million bucks okay all right, y'all, so this whole video is about being a baddie on a budget, okay? You can get that same look without spending $15,000. It's very much possible. And I'm going to show you how. So the key to the look in that video, like, honestly, guys, I really did nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so we're going to show y'all how I did it. So brows are already done off camera. Nothing to it. You know, just so re I really just fill them in super lightly with a pencil and clean them up with my foundation. And they look like this, okay? So we're going to go into the skin. I really hydrated my skin before that video because like I said, I didn't really do much foundation. I mainly focused on my concealer. So we're going to start off with the Natrium Ne Niacinamide Serum. Um, looks like this. This is just like my favorite serum. I also use this um, Niacinamide Cleanser as well. And honestly, I just feel like it has changed the game. It's just changed my face. Um... Yeah, I credit it all to Natrium. All to Natrium. It's definitely a brand that y'all should check out. They have stuff for your body as well. Um, I haven't tried their body lotion, but the body wash is just as amazing as their skin cleansers, especially the vitamin C. So we got a nice couple pumps of that into the skin, and we're just going to tap it in. Feels great. Looking good. Like that. Nice and glowy and hydrated. Look at that. So now we're going to go in and base our face using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is going to hold on to everything that we apply. Because like I said, we're going for coverage. But we are not using a whole lot of product. So the little bit of products that we apply, we really need them to cling on to the skin. And look at that. You see that? You see that pull? Mm-hmm. She ready. She ready. All right, so now we're going to go in with my little love potion. Y'all already know how I feel about this stuff. It's just, mwah, just, that's, yeah. <laughs> this is the Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It's not a primer, but it's not foundation, but it's like a skin tint. I don't, I don't really know. So I applied this all over the face. And it has such, such a pretty glossy shine to it. It just makes your skin look like a newborn baby. Like you just look like you've never had a drop of stress in your life 
at all. So we're going to take my damp beauty blender here and we are just going to blend her out to oblivion. See that? Just... I just look like I just put on Vaseline. It looks like Vaseline on my face. Like, look out. I haven't even tapped this all the way out. The shades on this is so forgiving. Um, like I said, I'm in the color, um, I have the color Deep 7. And honestly, it's so forgiving. Like you can you can be lighter than me, you can be deeper than me, and still use this one shade. It's just because it's not a foundation. It's just like a it's just a magic healing potion. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna go in with my favorite, favorite, favorite affordable foundation. This foundation, y'all, is literally six dollars. Six dollars. I love it so much. I'm literally running out, but that's okay because I literally am not gonna take much. Just a little bit here on the back of my hand, and I'm going to just apply this to the cheek area, not even on my T-zone, just right here in the cheek area where I like a little bit more coverage. Um, and just really work that in, just like that. I'm staying away from the nose. It's just literally, oh, <laughs> blending my eyeball out. Just right here. And now we're going to go in and conceal. We're going to be using these two concealers today. Um, I'm using the Milani Concealer Warm Beige 145. We're going to take this directly under our eyes. Just like that. Just to give me that nice lift, that bright under eye. And we're going to apply it to the nose. Because I still want to give a super snatch nose. Just like that. We're not applying it to the forehead. We're not applying it to the chin. We're not even applying it to the upper lip. Okay? Just well, trust the process now. Y'all wanted the video on the look, and this is how I literally got the look. I do this on like my lighter makeup days. Um, when I really just want to like focus the focus on like the facial structure that I have. Um I focus less on the highlighting and focus more on like chiseling my forehead, chiseling the jawline, and just really giving this under eye. Like, would it be an Erica video if I didn't give a solid under eye? No, it would not be a Erica video if I didn't give us it under eye. So we're going to go ahead and blend this out. All right, and once our under eyes blended out, I'm going to go in and blend out the nose. I am blending it out with my finger today because I want it to, I still want to have a snatched nose, which I'm going to show you momentarily with our contour, but I want it softer than what I usually give. Um, so we're going to just blend this all the way out, like, so nothing's there, literally, like that. <laughs> and now we're going to go in, this is really going to pop under our eye. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, the matte finish in the color light sand. And we're just going to give a dollop of Daisy directly under the eye. This is going to give them that super, y'all know? If you know, you know. And we're going to blend this out. Focusing it not past the eye itself. That is how you can kind of like... Um, gauge your concealer you know because i get a lot of questions on erica you know how do you keep your under eye so bright without it you know like turning into nothing it's literally how you want to focus it directly under the eye just in this eye area don't go past here this should just be your base concealer that gives you that nice snatched effect okay this you want to just focus it directly under the eye and blend it all the way out. That way you don't get flashback, anything like that, okay? And we're gonna blend this out. 
it's just something about a bright under eye that just gives many. Okay? Okay. If you know, you know. And I think you know. And if you don't know, that's okay because you're here. So that lets me know that you want to know. And I like girls that want to be in the know. Because you deserve to know. And I'm going to let you know. So we're going to go back in once more with our fingers and really blend out this outer edge right here. Usually I don't blend this. Usually I just let it do what it do. <laughs> but because we're going for baddie, we're going for that super soft effect. I'm going to just bring it into the eye socket slightly, just like this. Literally what I did in the video, y'all, on that look. You just want to bring it in with your finger. Just like that. It look crazy. That's okay. It's, it's supposed to look crazy. So, like I said, for these looks, you want to really give really bronzy, super snatch. So, we're going to go in now. You want to use something with a really orange tone. You could even use an orange color corrector. Um, in this case today, I'm going to be using the NYX Sweet Cheeks in the color Coralicious. It has this really pretty, like, corally base to it. And I am going to apply this to my whole forehead, just like so. Trust, just calm down. I know I look crazy. I know I look crazy, but it's okay. And then you want to also apply it to the top of your cheekbone here. I'm also going to apply just a little bit to the nose in a cupping motion and on the sides of the chin here. And this is going to give you that really orangey undertone that you need to have, okay? Um, we're going to go ahead and apply our contour now as well because I like to blend them out together when I do looks like this. It just gives it more, what's the word, diffused, soft, whatever. We're going to use the Thread Face It Complexion Stick. Um, and this is in the color 230 Deepest Warm Red. And we're going to apply this in my normal contoured areas. I'm going to go down the nose. Yes, ma'am. And we're going to go around what we just drew and we're gonna do a midget on the eye just like that it looks crazy but that's okay because this is how you want to look plastic and fake <laughs> and we're gonna blend all of this out notice how i'm just blending them together and it gives me that really nice red look So now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me 25 loose powder and we're going to go in and we're just going to set under the eye. Like, would you look at this? Would you somebody look at this? <laughs> And we're going to take this down the bridge of the nose. We're going to set the forehead and chin as if we applied concealer there. You don't have to be neat with this at all. Because um, it's not that type of ordeal. Honestly, the more you powder and, you know, the messier it is, it gives you like this really whoosh, gone with the wind type of finish and i'm going to take my juvia's place um contour palette i'm going to tap into this deep shade right here as more red undertones so that's why i like to use it you want to use something with more bronzier undertones that way it gives you that really bronzy effect it's going to blend super nice with your blush i'm not going to go on with any contour powder today just the bronzer um and we're going to go over all those areas that we applied that orange concealer. Just like that. Notice I didn't bring it here because that's where I contoured. Sometimes it's okay. You're going to notice that you're going to be bronzing opposite of your contour. Sometimes it just really just depends on the look. So for these softer days, I bronze more than I contour. But when you bronze more, you tend to look softer and it gives that soft girl appearance. When you contour, you're really like 
cooking that face in, um, giving you more definition to your look. Um, if you want a more soft girl look, then of course you want to bronze more. Hopefully that made sense. It did in my head. <laughs> And we're gonna go in now with the ankle brush and we're going to snatch our nose using the same bronzing powder. And you want to go in with that same bronzer and just apply it to directly where we put that um, contour stick just to make those eyelids nice and soft. Go in with the whole look. You can bring it in a little bit. The softer you are, the better. Feather the brows, you know, just, just really give it to the girls. To really press this in, this is what's going to give you that Instagram soft filtered look. I'm going in now with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Press Powder. And I am taking this on a little tapered head brush. Kind of looks like this. These actually came in a set from Walmart about... I've been in the makeup now for at least... I've been doing makeup now for... Erica, you're 24. At least probably like professionally for like seven years. Um... No, six years? Professionally for like six years. And I got this brush my senior year of high school, which is 2016. So it was like, what, six years, six years ago? And they are still just chef's kiss, like chef's kiss. So I just like to pounce this directly under the eye. That's what gives that soft focus look like, hey, look at me. I'm so pretty. <laughs> And of course, we couldn't have Erica Daily video without some Erica Daily blush, period. I'm going in with the Juvia's Place blush duos. This one is volume five. We're going to take this rich corally color and we're going to tap this at the top of our cheekbones back here. Right. Mm -hmm. I just feel so pretty. Like, I feel like my bad, my bad B is really brought out when I put blush on. Like, I'm not giving, I'm not serving face until I put blush on. Like, I have to. So we're gonna apply it to the top of the forehead as well. The oranger, the better. You're not gonna look like a Oompa Loompa. It just blends out and it gives you that really rich Kardashian type of ordeal, you know? And we're taking the lighter color now, and this is what we're applying lower and working it back up and really just using it to blend that under eye with our blush. And that's what gives you that velvety doll skin. Like, you danced that right there. You good to go, Miss Girl. And don't say I ain't told you. It really just gives doll baby. Like, bro. <laughs> So now I do, I didn't wear any mascara in that photo and I don't think I did a wing liner. Um, but I mean, you can do a wing liner. It's totally up to you. I'm not going to just to save myself some time washing my lashes tonight. <laughs> um, but I am going in with liner in the waterline and I'm going in super tight. This is the Pixie by Petra um, Endless Silky Eye Pen. You have to pair these looks with some super wispy lashes. Lashes that's really just, you know, giving it to the girls. Um, the wispier, the better. Lots of spikes, lots of wisps, lots of flare. Cat eyes are perfect for these looks, you know. Stuff like that, stuff like that's what the girls like. All right, so now we're going to take it back to the back with this morphe highlighter um this is in the color mirage as you can see mine's busted and disgusted because she done been here before we're gonna polish off that nose look at that oh my god and the lip here we're gonna do it on the chin here And of course, we got to get the girls some lips. So we're going in with the NYX Line Out Loud Lip Pencil in the color Rebel Kind. This has more of a like, um, 
I don't want to say it's cooler, but it's definitely not as like brick red of a brown that I normally do. Let me just show you it to y'all. But of course, we're going to overline. I guess you can call it like a pluma brown, but it's not as plum as like Jada Waita. Imagine Jada Waita, but brown. Does that kind of like give the vibe what I'm trying to explain? Hopefully, hopefully it explains it okay. <laughs> hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying. Like, cause you know, she wears like that really plum looking um, lip liner in her new lips. Um, but this one is definitely more brown than that. But it, you know, it still gives. Doesn't give Jada Waita, but it gives like chocolate Jada Waita. Makes sense. Is it, is it connected? Two plus two equaling four. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go in with it just a tiny little bit of the Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte in the color Tinted Blush, and I really just apply this just so that I have an even base to work with. Like I said, the tiniest amount. And we just want to blend that all the way out with your finger, like literally, just like tap it all over, over the lip liner, over it all like that see how they're gonna just like flush it out and then we're gonna take this gloss this gloss is in the dollar general dollar general you heard correctly this is a two dollar lip gloss okay look at that she thick so you see that real thick <laughs> um um it's the la curl la colors <laughs> la colors high shine shea butter lip gloss in the color wink it has like a little bit of iridescence to it but i don't think it really shows on the lip as you can see in the previous video and yeah i just going to gloss these suckers up all right y'all and i don't know how i almost forgot but now we're gonna go in with the milani make it last setting spray this is the dewy spray that we're going in with hear me out hear me out i know the face is matte it's given matte but once you put that dewy spray on a matte face it just gives this effortless luminosity like it's it's otherworldly like i i just can't explain it really gives that natural look y'all know i don't really mess with the n-word but it just gives that natural glow you know what i'm saying like look at me oh let me take my clips out my hair all right y'all thank y'all so 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 much for tuning into this video dossier thank you so 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 much for collaborating with me once again on another amazing video with some amazing fragrances y'all be sure to check that out like i said everything that you need to know is down link below a discount code is here for you to have a ball with your man car <laughs> you better spin that check miss girl i don't blame you be sure to follow me on all of my social platforms that way you don't miss a beat you don't miss sell you don't miss anything all right because I'm, I'm spilling the tea dropping gems left and right you already know it's at the erica danley all across the board everything that you need to know is linked below down below with all the products as well i love y'all so much i cannot express that ever so much enough um i always i never know what to say at these endings like i i really i really just be this is really like the real me at the end of these videos like i because i still be so nervous y'all like i'm just a girl from up the street you know what i'm saying <laughs> um but i love y'all thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you in my next video